It's been a long. <laughs> We're being kept in a secure place. Those of you who are with the spirit, who are, can hold light, and light is consciousness and love. Light is like when you meditate, just draw in light. Just breathe light in through your, you know, just imagine you hold yourself holding light. Because if you can hold light, you're going to be fine and you're going to be kept safe. People who can't hold light are hateful people, okay? So don't be a hateful person. <laughs> But we're being kept safe if you're one of those people. And, you know, we're, it's a time of learning. It's a time of preparing. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm seeing, and that's what I was being told before, is this is a time to prepare for, um, for what's going to come in the future. Because we may not have a choice as much over we might have to rise up and rebel. We might have to. We're definitely going to have to protest at some point. And the time, this is the time to prepare. And I'm thinking that, too, but... And in the six of the six of swords means the painful time that we're going to leave behind. So it, it seems like it's real, but it's not as deadly. It's just it's whatever they're saying. That's what it's saying. That's what it. That's what my guards say. Okay, and my guards don't mislead me usually. So let's ask a different question, slightly different question, so that we can figure out a little more about this situation. Was this created by a human being? Was this deliberately set out? Was this created by people and set out deliberately? Okay. Hello. It's like new age suspense music behind me, actually. Oh, I'm just well, okay. Yeah, that's what it feels like. A little bit, you know, cloud etchings. Yeah, it's nice, though. This is cloud etchings by Kevin Such. It's guys. very nice. It's very nice. Okay. All right. Well, it's weird. Okay, what I'm seeing is, like, yeah, I'm seeing a man who, who gives a lot to others, a man who's seen as being a big man. I think we all might know who that man is. <laughs> But I see as a contrast to that, there is a union of the male and the female that's happening that not, nobody can stop. And no, nothing can be done to stop that. There will be a test that will be passed. Okay, this is what's going on around us. You know, and we're asking, you know, is there somebody... And there's been so much pain recently and so much sadness, in this, which is shown by the Ten of Swords. Or no, the Nine of Swords. Still. <laughs> it's the same, basically. You know, we're going to rebuild. We're going to be starting to rebuild quicker than I thought we would be. You know, and there's going to be, somebody's going to come along. Something's going to come along that's going to give us a little bit of hope. You know, it's going to, just a tiny little ray of hope in the future. And it's going to be the seed that grows into something new. And I don't, I just, I really see a supernatural help coming through for a lot of people. Like a spiritual help, like you're, like, like, a, like if you, or someone who's never met your guides because you weren't awake enough. And that's not your fault. There's all kinds of environmental reasons that could be for that. You don't know why necessarily. Uh, you might start to be able to communicate with them now for the first time ever, you know. So it's like this could be expectantly for the world to change. Oh, it's chirping again. It's chirping, I know. I know. But the world is still so full of sadness, you know, as like a five of cups is, is and I'm, we're so, I was so afraid we'd be stuck. This is the hanged man, but we're not. We're going to have a renewal. This is, we are going to be renewed. Okay. But I don't know what that means. I guess, I guess the only thing it's telling me is the man with the money might be behind it. It's, this is not me made super clear for me, but I, I have my suspicions about the guy with the money. Definitely there's, a force behind it. Ultimately, the forces are on consciousness. That's what I'm getting, you know, <laughs> because we're trying to create a situation for ourselves that forces us to wake up because it's hard, okay? The beast system is hard to beat. Like, really, human beings aren't supposed to work five days a week, eight hours a day for someone else. That's, that's not natural for people, and it's not good for people. People are very used to genetically and culturally putting in long hours for themselves. That's yeah. natural. Um, we were watching a great oh, documentary yeah. oh, yeah. on this guy who moved up to Northern California 50 years ago and built himself this little house and this slightly bigger little, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it was him. 
He never used outside labor. Yeah. Or he's not really paying stuff. Beautiful. But because you're investing Beautiful. in yourself, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You feel like, well, this is, I mean, I've done that. I've, I've done projects where I was kicking ass and taking names because I knew it was for me and mine as opposed to getting paid great and working on some Hollywood set where we're going to tear this down in three or four days or even on oh, yeah. a permanent project where I love working, but again, it's not for me. It's for someone else. Yeah. You know? So that's the main effort and focus of this one today to try to help people put as much of their own time and energy into themselves in the most productive and self-satisfying financially, physically, and spiritually for you guys as we can figure out. Um, yeah. Like, for example, in between, I like to commute. I love the job. I love the job. But I cannot pretend that I don't commute an hour every day. Yeah. And that's a lot of traffic. That's just a lot of smog. I personally kick in 57 miles with the smog each way. Yeah. I don't want to do it. And look at what's happened to the air. That's real. Yeah. No, that's real. Sure. The air is I always knew that. I was following the air. And now I can really see it like, okay, well, now not just me, but everyone else quit that shit. Look at up. L.A., I don't know if you guys know this. L.A. has the cleanest air in the world right now. No joke. Cleanest air in the world. Isn't that crazy? Ooh. Yeah. It's Have like you ridiculous. ever seen a smoggy L.A. day when that shit looks like a brown brick you could cut out and, like, make a house I mean, it goes to show how quickly nature can heal herself, but the problem is I'm afraid other people will see that and start thinking they can just abuse her no, more, look, you know? Yeah, oh, look, if it, it heals that quick, cool, then we just do our normal shit and then we'll bow for But you're not going to bow off for a few months. Yeah, know? they won't. That's the problem. Nobody's going to bow off for a few anyway, months. Anyway, the point was <laughs> I started thinking about it, and I was like, well, we should be talking about little side businesses and like, you know what, man? I'd rather scoop shit than eat it, not to be rude or crude, but I was just like, I mean, you know what I do with our time? If I'm going around and it's just every dollar that I'm making is going straight to me and mine, yeah, I would, I would prefer to actually go around scooping crap out of some dog crap out of someone's yard and making a fat business for myself rather than driving continually to work for someone else and still get a paycheck for myself but not building a business, not building an opportunity, and more importantly, contributing yeah. to all the smog crap. I can hopefully get a little electric vehicle kicked out. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. That's where I'm trying to move to. I'm trying to think in terms of like, okay, this could be a really viable possibility, or maybe this could be a viable possibility, but we're always thinking in terms of how we can make our own little chunk of land right here as, as uh, environmentally sustainable and off-grid as mm-hmm. possible. And we would love to get some solar. We want to get some wind. And once you heard that, it's kind of a stick in the mud about that stuff. Yeah, I mean, basically, we will be soon. Like, actually, I mean, they have a wind. They have a, a windmill system that will run my whole house for $1,500 and includes the uh, the generator and everything. Yeah, solar cars, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, the solar, uh, there are solar cars that work well. Now, now as much as I love my Harley, and I do love that beast, again, every time I fire it up, it's it's an engine. Yeah. It's a mission, you know? So I'm hoping after all this is said and done, I can go to the government and Harley and be like, look, guys, can I trade in my old kind of beat-up 2008 for brand new spiffy little live wire electric motorcycle that doesn't have any emissions and doesn't have any earth and, you know, we'll go over however many miles on a nifty little charge. You know, hopefully I can do it. If not, <laughs> whatever, I'll have to retire. But I'm just saying it. I'm at just some imagining point, our cats riding in the sidecar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because, yeah, I, you know, unfortunately not many animals uh, can really bear up with the, the noise of a, of a motorcycle. Oh, yeah, they mean cats particularly. Just, they, they, that's why cats don't My like to ride had a deaf little bulldog you know? that we love, and he just loved to ride in that sidecar, and we always had a little dream of taking our cats along. But, yeah, yeah. again, there's, there's what, you, what you want to do, and there's the actual ability to bring it to fruition. And sometimes your circumstances, like ours, yeah. you know, prohibit you from doing it until a later time. Yeah. That's okay. Put that on the back burner move on to the next project and just keep rolling, but just, you know, try to stay positive, try to stay healthy, try to stay... Yeah, we're going to be growing a garden, we're going to be, you know, com- we're composting. Yeah, there you go, you those different plants. I always loved that. When uh, my parents were married in Switzerland, my dad spoke fluent, fluent French and German, which I loved him for. Took my mom all over Europe, her native Italy and stuff, well, she's born here, she's married by her parents. You know, with the ivy on the side, a little stork nest on the roof, and you know, how they would build their buildings in the sides of the hill, you know? And people started to catch on to that down here in Southern California. They've got a lot of back east, like, you know, yeah, build into the earth. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. When it's hot, it stays warm when it's cold. At some point, know? it would be nice to take you guys around yeah. somewhere. We have some really nice local areas I could tell, show you guys. Anyway, um, I actually want to talk about, like, as a positive note, I was – you know, the rebellion, what's the rebellion? Is it about rebel? It is about revolution, but it's about a, re- a societal revolution, like of off grid communities, basically. Like, yeah, you know? we're, we're, not, we're not rebelling against government. Uh, I know there's a lot of anarchists and people out there, you know, more power to 
to you, man. I don't want to tell anyone to believe or not to believe, but I just kind of want to build a little community of people that are like-minded that's, you know, just... I mean, I, I like to, we like to have a place where we can actually pump electricity back to the power company and get paid for it. You know what I mean? Because I've, I've just seen too many places where, like, oh, civilization was destroyed. All this shit broke down. And then, went, then you got a big fucking yeah. mess. That's right? what I'm saying. you got to like, go clean up. I mean, you, it's mm-hmm. like that friend Leonard one point out. You can't uninvent something. You know what I mean? And in a rush to get rid of the bad technology, you know what I mean? We want to break down the good with it. Let's not do that. I mean, let's not be so ready to get new shit done that we break the old crap and leave a big mess behind. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Oh, thanks, guys. I you mean, because my dream is to have oh, for people. Real quick, let's say we all go. I'm sorry, let's say we all go off grid. We all do our stuff, or and the government collapses. Right? Who's dealing with all that fucking nuclear waste? Who's dealing with all the stupid shit they left behind? Yeah. Us. Yeah. You know how to process nuclear waste? I sure it's as hell true. don't. It's true. You know what I mean? True. I know it goes full of silicon glass. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know it's got a half life of fifty thousand fucking years. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know it's self boiling radioactive nitric acid that eats through more silicon glass. You know what I mean? So yeah, there's. I'm just saying that we like let's bomb this place and break that down. No, no, no. Let's just phase that shit out and deal with it, guys, and move on to something happier and better. You know what I mean? Just like, think of like a school ending, right? Your elementary school is over, your double elementary school, your kids going there. Uh, school's kind of decrepit. Let's just sell it to someone, let them turn into a new building, you know, make something else out of it, and we'll build a new, better school over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's, the, that's, that's basically the idea, is that if what keeps corporations in business, for one thing, is us using them. Like electrical companies, if we didn't need their electricity, they would be gone, and then that would that would actually create a hole in our society. And some people wouldn't like that, but it's the point is we wouldn't need them. The point is you should would be sucking you know? start a lot less fires and a lot less people. Would yeah, California yeah. I mean, the point is around. like America was built on the idea of being truly independent. Okay, being able to go into the woods and build yourself a house and live off the land if you wanted to. But you shouldn't have to live off the land and be, like, not have your Wi-Fi or not have your, you know, and some of these technologies are not perfectly clean yet. But if we did everything that was possible to keep things clean, we could keep these technologies and learn to make them more clean over time, you know? Like, not all all of the computer stuff is not clean, mostly, but we're not giving up computers. We need to learn how to make computers clean, okay? And if we, literally, if we got off oil for cars completely, and if we got off, you know, and if we all had, like, windmills on our houses, if we all were living in a way, like, growing a little bit of our own food, you know what I mean? If, If, like, your third neighbor has chickens, they can give you some eggs. You have some, you know, you have some tomatoes. You can trade them. Yeah. That stuff, that'll keep you going even when society falls apart. You still got food. You still got electricity. You still got everything you need. And if corporations fall apart, if all of society falls apart, you have your house, you have your food, you have your family, and you're secure. And or there are earth ships. These, these houses, they're, uh, they're called earth ships. And it's the point is, earth. yeah. But the point is, you can li- they you, they grow food inside as well. Yes. You they they provide you water in the desert. They provide you, you know, they provide you food. They basically are really have really good rain catch systems, which e- work even in a lot of deserts. A whole bunch of lives out in the Arizona desert, and that there's the reason yeah. the air, arid zone. Uh, you know, yeah, the I mean, they don't even have, have wells. I would want nothing. a well too. And they actually but, yeah. have a running garden. Yeah. yeah, all the stuff they need just by reclamation of uh, yeah. dew. Yeah, which is crazy and because yeah, because day. there's very little water in those in those areas. That's the point. They're getting their water from the environment. They're growing their own food inside their house with them. Even the septic system is made of like, is, is plants that they filter yeah. through, right. and they use the gray water for the garden. So you don't need as much water. Yeah, again, you're you know? making use of everything rather than kind of just wasting it and just. That is the water from your toilet, basically yeah. the gray water. <laughs> yeah, through a filtration yeah. Through the plants. So yeah. The other plants yeah, the plants it. take all all the bad stuff out of it, and then it goes into your yeah. normal garden with we, your normal plants. We really wanted to build a house out of hempcrete for a long time mm-hmm. because it doesn't rot, it doesn't crack, it doesn't mildew. Termites can't eat it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's, it's made amazing. of hemp, which is a renewable resource. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know. Hemp you know? It's it's re- it's great. It's fantastic. I do love construction oh with all God. the, and that's the thing. Listen, I always want to say this to anybody, anybody out there that's our listeners.
person that has a new child, that, a little baby, or even a young kid, 